Long division. Please watch short division video 1 and video 2 before watching this video, which you may need to watch two or three times. We're looking at the question 378 divided by 14, so we need the 14 times table. A good idea is to write the multiples of 14 somewhere nearby. So, 114 is 14. Add 14 to that to get 28. Add another 14 to get 42. Add 14 to get 56. Add 14 to get 70. Another 14 makes 84. Another gets us to 98. 98 add 14 is 112. 112 add 14 is 126. And 126 plus 14 is 140. It's good to get as far as this because 10 14s are 140. If we hadn't ended up with 140, we would know that we'd made a mistake somewhere in our additions. We write the 378 inside the bus shelter and the 14 on the outside. We say how many 14s in 3? There aren't any, so the 3 joins the 7, and we say how many 14s in 37? Two 14s are 28, so we've got enough to get two 14s, and we write 2 on the answer line above the 7. We had 37, and we've used 28, so there's 9 left over to join the 8 in the units column. In short division, we write the 9 next to the 8 like this, to show that we now have 98. But in long division, instead of doing that, we write the 28 we've used under the 37. Subtract 28 from 37 to get 9, then bring down the 8 to join the 9. We've still got 98 like we had before, but it's written in a different place. Now all we have to do is say how many 14s in 98, and we can see that there are 7 because that's the 7th number down the list. So we write 7 on the answer line. Our final answer is 27. Here's another example, 907.2 divided by 32. We write the multiples of 32. 32, two 32s must be 64, three 32s are 96, add 32 to find four 32s, 128, five 32s, 160, six 32s, 192, seven 32s, 224, eight 32s, 256, nine 32s, 288, and add 32 to get to 320, which is 10 32s. Write 907.2 in the bus shelter and 32 on the outside. 32 into 9 won't go, so we look at 90. We haven't got enough to get three 32s, but we can get two. Two 32s are 64, so we write two on the answer line and the 64 under the 90. Then subtract to get 26. Bring down the 7, so now we have 267. Looking down the list, the highest number we can find that is less than 267 is 256, which is the 8th number down, so we know that 8 32s are 256, and we write 8 on the answer line. We also put a decimal point on the answer line to match the 1 in the question. Write the 256 we've used under the 267 and subtract. 7 take 6 is 1, 6 take 5 is 1, so we've got 11. Bring down the 2 to give us 112. 32 into 112 goes 3 times because 3 32s are 96. Subtract the 96 from 112 to find 16. We now need to put an extra zero in the question. We are allowed to put as many zeros as we like to the right of any number which is to the right of the decimal point. We bring down the zero to make 160. There are exactly 5 32s in 160. Our final answer is 28.35. Here's a couple of examples for you to try. You could pause the video while you try them. Here are the answers. Question A. 27 into 4 won't go, so how many 27s are there in 43? Only one, so now subtract the 27 we've used from the 43 to leave 16. Bring down the 2. How many 27s in 162? There are 6. Final answer 16. Question B. 34 into 1 won't go. 34 into 16 won't go, so we're looking at 164. There are four 34s in 164. Four 34s are 136, so we subtract 136 from 164 to get 28. Bring down the 9. 34 into 289 goes 8 times, because 8 34s are 272. Subtract the 272 to get 17. Write a decimal point in the question and a matching one on the answer line. Then write a zero in the question. Bring down the zero to make 170. 5 34s are 170, 
So our final answer is 48.5.